So they've got the entire life story of the Buddha here <laughs> and uh, statues. So in the forest, this beautiful cave. So the Buddha, he was raised in a castle in a kingdom for his whole life. His father wanted to keep him in the kingdom because he didn't want him to see the realities of the world. Because at his birth, he was predicted to either be a great king or a great sage. And his father, being a king, wanted his son to be a king, of course, as well. So he didn't want him to know about the realities of the world, so he sheltered him. But one day, Prince Siddhartha was his name, ordered his charioteer to take him outside of the palace walls. And there he encountered four things. Old age, sickness, death, and a wandering sadhu, a man who had renounced the world in search of liberation. And this idea appealed to him so much. Well, first he was shocked to see the suffering, seeing sickness, old age, and death, and realizing that that too was eventually to be his outcome and the outcome of all. That no matter, you know, this man living in a kingdom with all these pleasures, no matter how many pleasures you have, it ends in sickness, old age, and death. But possibly, possibly, there is freedom. So, eventually, he sneaks out in the middle of the night, and he has his charioteer send him, uh, sneak him out past the castle walls. Once he makes it away, he then cuts his hair, renouncing his hair, symbolically renouncing the world, and he becomes a beggar. He becomes a beggar, he learns to practice different yogas and different techniques available at that time, one of which was asceticism, so very harsh, strict disciplines and starving yourself. So you can see him starved here. And he realizes that that's not the way either. So he decides to take some food. He hadn't eaten in a long time. He grew weak. He decided to take food. And when he did, he then said, you know, none of these teachings have worked. I'm going to find out the truth for myself. I'm going to sit at the base of a tree and I'm going, I'm not going to move until I realize the truth. So that's what he did. And after a full night, he realized the truth under the Bodhi tree. And this symbolizes his realization, his enlightenment, where he realized the true nature of reality. He realized the cause of suffering, the way to be free of suffering. And he experienced that freedom and realization for himself. So it's really cool. The entire story of the Buddha is displayed here under this cave in the forest. It's really quite amazing. <clears throat>